now things are going to get a bit more interesting because we're about to fight number 10 in the organization, Data Luke Sword. And Data Luke Sword is very interesting. He is the only one of the Data organization members who doesn't have any more HP than he did in his regular fight, mainly because it's still the time-based battle. He doesn't have an HP bar, he only has the time gauge. And you can deplete that basically just as quickly as before. However, this fight is actually quite a bit different from his normal fight. Specifically, his minigames are now going to be a lot harder to win because the timing is a lot faster, so... You've really got to be on your A game. So if you've got fast reflexes, then this you'll find that this is one of the easiest of the day or fights, but there are a lot of people who also think this is one of the toughest ones, because if you don't have fast reflexes or don't know how to pause buffer, yeah, you're going to struggle with this one a lot. Anyhow, battle Luke Sword again, but he's stronger than before. I'm ready. And we don't have Dalton and Goofy for this one. The first to run out of time is the loser. And instead of turning us into a dice at the beginning, he's going to immediately challenge us to a minigame. Yeah, you can see how fast that goes. And again, if you take too long choosing what to do, then uh, you end up getting turned into a dice. Do you know the rules? I've got pretty fast reflexes, so I can do this pretty easily. Otherwise, don't be afraid to pause buffer, which I'll show off in a bit. Alright, that's the real you. As you can see, I'm just I'm dominating the game this far. By far the hardest part of this fight is his desperation move. Which I think we're getting up to pretty quickly. Come on, give me another mini game. Here we go, this is what I was waiting for. Do you know the rules? That's kind of how you pause buffer, except I did it wrong, and now I'm a card. <laughs> Can I pull you again? Nope. We gotta wait for the drive gauge to go out. We gotta keep our distance from Luke Sword then. Except he might just well kill us. Pause buffering doesn't work very well for that game, so you just kind of have to be fast. But for his desperation move, you're going to want to pause buffer. Just wait for it to start getting a bit slower, and then wail away on him. And he should be at his desperation move now. There we go. This is the toughest part, part of the fight by far. So what we're going to do is we're just going to glide up here to kind of avoid his attacks. Well, then he can get pretty close. And then he's going to warp us in the center and we got to play one final game. This is where we're going to want to pause buffer. So we got to win. we got to hit a circle on every single one of these. The bottom one is really slow and then each one that gets up higher gets a bit faster. So we got to pause buffer these. For this last one, you want to pause it on the X, then when you unpause, immediately press the X button. And darn it, that was too fast, actually. And that gave him a lot of time back. That's the problem with this fight. If you fail his desperation move, then uh, you got to do a lot of the fight again. However, if you win his desperation move, he immediately goes down to 1 HP. And, after, as soon as you reach his desperation your point, he'll just constantly be doing it. Which is a blessing and a curse. This is one of the most interesting fights, and I really like Luke Sword. He's pro probably one of my favorite pouring division for team members. Do you know the rules? Darn it! Happened again! Wow, he killed me. I'm kind of surprised. Data Larxene and Data Marluxia did not kill me, but Data Luke Sword did. Wow. 
I was not expecting that because I consider Luke Sword to be like the easiest of the data fights. The first to run out of time is the or actually, not the easiest, but definitely one of the three easiest. Do you know the rules? I also recommend for the mini games doing the bottom one because then that gives you the most time to kind of figure out where to get the rhythm down. Darn it. Cards. Being able to jump into these things will lower your drive gauge faster. Oh, I am sucking! Yeah, so you can kind of get an, an, an imagining of if you're really bad at winning his games, you're gonna have a really, really hard time on this fight. Whereas if you're very good at it, then he'll be really, really easy. The loser. A challenge. Do you know the rules? Darn it! I keep getting the timing off. Good as this game as I thought I was. No, oh, get away. Get away. You gotta survive till I can heal. How did that not. Okay, well, that killed me. The first to run out of time is the loser. Darn, I was so close on my very first round, and now I'm sucking. Darn it! Nah, Luke Sword, you can't rely on your cards all the time. Not what I wanted to do, Sword. I wanted to cast out Ruffle Dad, not use another cure. It's also random whether he'll do the cards move or if he'll actually challenge into a game. There we go, another mini game. Know the rules. There we go. Back off. All right, now we're in this phase. It's over. Luke Sword is physically the weakest of the organization members in terms of both attack and HP. Because he does get an HP bar in some of the other games. Just a little fun fact of the day. He's even physically weaker than uh, Zexion is. I mean, I'll take the clock one. Ouch. As soon as he starts flashing red, you know it's desperation time. Is he telling me to fold? Alright. 
There we go. That'll lower him to 1 HP, and then we're gonna fire a blizzard to finish him off. You played the game well. That is a fun fight, though. I, I enjoy fighting Luke Sword. A very entertaining game. For defeating Lu Data Luke Sword, you get an AP boost. Not a particularly useful reward. But oh well. We'll have a use for it. Hey, uh, who should I give it to? I should give it to Goofy, of course. Goofy, can you equip any new abilities now? You could equip Draw or... Eh, <laughs> Whirly Goof is a little better than Knock Smash. Anyhow, yeah, Data Luke Sword. I normally would put that one of the easier fights. After fighting him again, I still would put him at one of the easier fights, but not the easiest. Maybe the third easiest, I would say. I think that's where I would rank him.